Protests continue in Nelson County after the school board voted to move forward with plans that would include the merger of two high schools. Wave News reporter Sean Bowdy talked to the board member who tendered his resignation after the vote, and he shows us how teachers and students are trying to make their voices heard. Really? On Tuesday, the Nelson County School Board voted 3-2 to two in favor of continuing plans to build an $80 million connected campus. It would merge Thomas Nelson High School with Nelson County High School and move lower grade levels into the same campus. There are board members that ignore their pleas. Damon Jackie was one of the two dissenting votes. He resigned immediately after, claiming three board members had been meeting behind closed doors and lying to the community. If we can't have those kinds of discussions publicly, with the families and the community members there and engage them in it ethically, I can't be a part of that. More than 200 teachers were expected to call out on Thursday, so the district canceled classes. Instead, a district-wide protest. There's an advocate from every school in our district in this circle today. Teachers here do agree that taking kids out of the classroom on a school day isn't necessarily a good thing, but they say it's part of a much bigger picture, a much bigger life lesson. And that is a learning opportunity to advocate for something you believe in in a peaceful manner. Teachers here believe the superintendent's hands have been tied by the board and that an entire school district essentially in one spot isn't the kind of atmosphere best for learning or teaching in Nelson County. They've been pushing for two different campuses, one at each high school. What's getting ready to happen if this school board does not wake up is these professional, innovative educators, they're going to leave. None of the three board members who voted yes responded to our requests for comment. In Bardstown, Sean Bowdy, Wave News.